many uncommon plants and flowers in nature. Certain plants attract insects while others captivate with their appearance. Sometimes it seems as if they are not from this planet at all. So let's discuss four weird and rare flowers. The corpse flower, or Amorphophallus titanum, or the titan arum. The corpse flower is one of the rarest flowers in the world, because it blooms only once every few decades. It can grow to a height of 3.6 meters, becoming one of the largest flowers in the world. The flower has no roots, leaves, or even a stem. It also appears to have only one petal, which is green on the outside and red on the inside. The Titan Arum was found in its native habitat, the rainforest on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. Scientifically described by the Italian botanist Odoardo Beccari in 1878, the name speaks for itself. This flower has a very specific smell. They smell absolutely terrible. The Huntington Botanical Gardens describe it as a smelling like a combination of Limburger cheese, garlic, rotten fish and smelly feet. Pretty weird smell, right? If it gets lucky enough to be pollinated, it will develop a seed cylinder within the slumped over remains of the flower. The fruits are olive-shaped, red-orange berries that are highly prized by rhinoceros hornbills. They feast on those fruits and spread the seeds throughout their native rainforest habitat. Later, the seeds can be sown to grow a new corn. Hot lips or Palicori elata. The most striking feature of this tree is undoubtedly the transient, lip-like bracts that appear just before the flowers come into full bloom. And yes, you heard right, it's a tree. The species can grow from 3.5 to 10 feet tall, occasionally reaching 13 feet. But despite its small size, Palicori elata is technically a tree. This plant is found in the rainforests of Central and South America in countries such as Mexico, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Panama and Colombia. It belongs to the genus Palicori and, like many plants in this genus, doesn't have any scent. With no detectable scent, the plant relies on its shape alone to attract pollinators such as butterflies and hummingbirds. Once pollination and fertilization have taken place, the Palicari elata produces small black or dark blue berries. Then, these berries are distributed by birds. Raflesia flower or Raflesia arnaldi As well as the corpse flower, this flower has no leaves, stems or roots. So you might ask, how does it grow? The catch is that this flower is a holoparasite of vines of the genus Tetrastigamma. There, flower takes all the substances it needs to grow and bloom. The flowers are massive in size and reddish-brown in color. The smell is also quite similar to the corpse flower. Because Raflesia can grow to 3 meters in diameter, scientists agreed that Raflesia arnoldi is the largest single flower in the world. Western Europeans were first introduced to plants of this genus by the French surgeon and naturalist Louis Deschamps when he was in Java around 1794. Unfortunately, his notes and illustrations were seized by the British and were not available to Western science until 1861. The Venus flytrap or Dionia massipula I bet you have heard of this Venus flytrap, like in a Mario game where this plant is called Piranha plant. This is a carnivorous plant that is native to subtropical wetlands on the east coast of the United States, specifically in North and South Carolina. The first written description of the Venus flytrap was recorded in a letter from North Carolina's colonial governor Arthur Dobbs to English botanist Peter Collinson at 1759. 
This plant captures prey using a trap structure that consists of the terminal portion of each leaf. Tiny sensitive hairs on these inner surfaces of the leaves trigger this mechanism. This is highly specialized in discriminating between living prey and non-prey stimuli such as falling raindrops. Activation of two trigger hairs within 20 seconds or one hair touched twice in rapid succession because the trap loves to snap shut, which occurs in approximately a tenth of a second. The plant mainly attracts insects and arachnids and poses no harm to humans. This is a small plant and the size of each stem can reach from 3 to 10 cm, depending on the time of the year. The pollination of the flower involves various flying insects such as sweat bees, longhorn beetles, and checkered beetles. Despite its wide cultivation for commercial purposes, the Venus flytrap's population has been decreasing rapidly in its natural habitat. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.